It's time for another video. Take a look. Thanks for tuning in, Jeff Ferris on the Hot Homestead. Today's video, I'm going to just do a, a little overview of a all-in-one inverter, which is a inverter charger for solar. So let's take a look at what I got as the dog runs by. <laughs> so in this video, basically, I'm not installing it or anything like that. It's more of just an intro of the product. This video. It's on this solar inverter charger. I guess it's Power Mister, Power Mister, whatever. This is a 5000. Show you a little bit. Basic handbook. It's got a lot of good stuff. I like this here because it kind of gives you an idea of the size of wire to use, the suggested. But it looks fairly simple. A lot of information about what all the icons mean and all that on the screen walks you through it all. But the only thing I couldn't find in this was what the torque should be on the connections in here. You know, how many foot pounds it should be. That was about the only thing that I wish it had. It comes with some lugs here for your battery and then some other um, screws and things, some other basic hardware. I have already taken off, there's a couple screws on the sides, I've already taken off this so we could take a look inside. This is your AC in and your AC out. From what I'm understanding, this AC in is good enough that you, because I'm off grid, this whole AC power doesn't exist. You know, it's two and a half miles away to the nearest power line, so I'm truly off grid. So, I understand that I can actually hook up a generator to this. Now, some people say that a generator is, quote, dirty power. And that's because it doesn't maintain the, the, uh, the 60 hertz that it needs to, to be a true AC power. But we're going to hook up a generator to it. Eventually, we're going to charge it using that, and we'll kind of see how things go. Then, obviously, your AC out. Now, this guy here... This is your PV input for your positive and negative. So the PV input is definitely a 10. And then you obviously got to get a little screwdriver in there to tighten them. I wish I knew what foot pounds it should be. Right down in there, those two holes, those bolts that I just showed you fit right there. Now, there's two sets of bolts, and I think there's two sets of bolts because your lugs that you put on there, the thickness of the lug, if you use the ones that they give you or if you're using another one, you might need another size lug so they gave you one a little longer. Down here on the end, here's what we got. So your wires come through here, so it's a little grommet thing right here. It's kind of nice. Here's your on off. There are some communications ports right here. I'm probably, this is your DC non-contact stuff. This is like for a, uh, I think a, uh, a auto start on generator. I'm not going to do that. I think this USB, I think that's mainly for, uh, for, for like a external display. And then these two communications cables. I really don't know the difference between the two. And I glanced through the book and it wasn't real specific as to which one was what. So, I guess I'll have to play around. I'll, I'll have to, when I hook up the battery, and I do the communication cable with the battery, I hook it probably to this one, and then I hook it to this one to see what the difference is. Here's your grounding lug screw right here. You put your wire right there. On the side, there's a, uh, there's a breaker on the side. Where are you at? Right there is your breaker. And there is a sequence that you want to do when turning these on, and I'll go over that later. Here's where your PV input is. So again, a grommet there. I like that grommet. And then your battery is right there, your grommet for your battery. Now on this battery here, if you noticed, there is a divider right there. Kind of help keep the, the positive and negatives 
from uh, touching. I like that idea. And then a couple cooling fans. Well, here's some information on the side that people always like to see. Okay, ventilation, nothing on top, some more vents there, but yeah, that's the skinny to this guy here, and uh, we will uh, get him installed and uh, do a little upgrading. So there you have it. How Mr. POW Mr. however way you call it my all-in-one inverter charger 5000 I'll put some more information down below thanks for watching stay tuned so you can see it actually being installed my little solar upgrade it's not the full upgrade I wanted to can't afford that so I got to go with the basics for now see you bye have fun